Hi everybody, this is Steve Hardesty with Outdoors with Steve Hardesty and uh, today we're going to Virgin Falls, which is right outside of Sparta, Tennessee. I'm here with my brother David and uh, this is about between 8 and 10 miles round trip hike. A lot of people do it in one day with just a small day pack, but there's some nice camping areas down here. So David and I are going to go down and uh, go to uh, one of the camping areas and uh, just make a two-dayer out of it. We're going to spend most of the day tomorrow doing the majority of the hike. So we're just going to go in a couple miles, stay at a nice little campground, and uh, something that we enjoy doing, especially during the fall and winter. And uh, inviting you guys to come along with us. We'll give you some updates on the trail, and I hope you have a good time. Come on out and check out Virgin Falls when you get a chance. Let's go. This is Big Branch Falls on the way down to uh, the Laurel Creek Campground. And David's down there checking out the heavy flow of water coming off the falls. <laughs> and uh, even though we've had a whole lot of rain here last week, we've had a lot of rain this year, I'm surprised there's not more water running. There's a um, real neat rock outcropping here right above the falls that David's checking out. And I'm going to hop down there with him here in just a second. If I fall, it'll make for a lot of comic relief. There you go. Wow, this is pretty cool. I can tell many fires have been built under here. For the life of me, I never understand why just because someone found a neat place, they've got to write crap all over the walls. That just uh, annoys the daylights out of me. When, when does, how old does graffiti have to be before it becomes petroglyphs and hieroglyphs? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the official timing is on that. I just got a double text. Did you really? <laughs> you can't get away from technology, can you? Yeah. Wow. This is neat. I just, I just love places like this. Just having to think of all the centuries it's been here and how many different yep. people. You know, well, I mean, like you said, I mean, we all know this is modern campers, yeah, but yeah. how many people have built a fire under this rock ledge? You know, and how many things. You know, it's been covered up by right. newer layers of, you know, I don't mean to offend the historians, newer layers of graffiti. That's <laughs> what it is, yeah. you know. Yeah. Yeah. Because if it's over 200 or so years old, it's called historic. Yeah. If it's less than that, it's graffiti. Wouldn't it be something if, if when they uh, interpreted all the, mm -hmm. the uh, hydroglyphic, hieroglyphics and stuff like that, it was like... Uh, Kilroy was here. Kilroy was here. <laughs> or Tom loves Jane, you know. And again, this is another shot of the. Uh, what was it called again, David? Big Branch. Big Branch Falls, but there's not much falling on Big Branch Falls right now. What did they call it back? What was the big long word they used last year or two years ago when they did the government shut down? Oh, the sequester? Yeah. Yeah. Do the government sequester. Yeah, yeah. Do, do the government shut down and the sequester, the uh, Big Branch Falls have been turned off. But it's beautiful down here, and uh, we're going to work our way on back to uh, Laurel Falls, and uh, we'll get you some video. If there's any water coming down there, we'll get you some video, and we'll get you some video of the uh, creek crossing. We've already done one, but there was no water in it, and it was not a challenge at all. Nice big flat rocks to walk on and so we're going to head on down toward the other creek crossing and then go down to Laurel Falls and uh, we will uh, get back with you then. Well we're here crossing Laurel Creek this is where the cable crosses the stream they got a cable crossing here but the water is way down 
and uh, the cable's nice to have for stability stepping over the rocks but it's not really needed for water wise what a beautiful area it is though well we're right above Laurel Falls here and we're getting ready to go swing around this bluff and head on down toward the campground and it's just so pretty here we thought we'd take a shot maybe a little video clip but there's a little water running you can probably hear it not a lot but it sure would be nice if we could hear that all night at our campsite okay what we're looking at now is Laurel Falls and looking kind of puny this time of year but beautiful nonetheless or nonetheless and uh, the campground is right over here to our right we're going to drop down how much further David uh, 150 feet 150 200 feet and we'll be down in the campground and that's where we're going to pitch camp tonight and we'll get to listen to this all night long which is pretty cool it's beautiful out here well we're down at the base of uh, Laurel Falls and it's kind of overexposed there. You can't see under it. I'm going to walk under the uh, shelf there. Uh, with the iPhone, it's kind of overexposed. You can't see all the way under it, but it's a gigantic rock shelf here at the back side of the falls. You might be able to see a little bit of it now. There you go. But it's very deep. And uh, I'm going to see if I can walk back there and get some video from in there. I've got the camera hooked to my... Uh, walking stick and so that's why it's so jerky it's all these nice fairly fresh slabs of stone laying right here yeah yeah they're just chipping off and flaking off you can see up over there yeah. where they've all recently fallen off we were told that Virgin Falls comes down kind of out of a cave and then back in a cave but here at Laurel Falls where the water's coming down we can't really see it going anywhere so I've got a feeling it's doing kind of the same thing I know it's making me not want to stand under all this fresh limestone where it's falling they probably only fall when reacting to sound waves of humans talking wow this is wild under here. Woo! This is all silt, David. Yeah. I thought this was rock. Look how soft this is. I would hate it if all of a sudden we sunk up to our waist in it. <laughs> that would be really bad. Oh, man. man, this oh, is man. beautiful. Yeah. I, I wouldn't sleep in yeah. here. <laughs> yeah, sleep. this looks like the perfect place to put your tent because it's so soft, but uh, neither one of us wants to put our tent under here. We're afraid some of these big limestone pieces like those right up there, it right looks like it's getting ready to fall at any minute. Yeah, yeah I think we'll uh, step back outside. But you're right, David, it just looks like the water's going back into the ground somewhere. You got a little stream here. No, that's just a washout. This is all just dirt that has washed down in here. It's coming this way. Okay. Yeah, but it's seeping back in somewhere. Because it's yeah. not filling this up. Uh -uh. Now look at here, David. It looks here like it's going both ways. Yeah. It looks, it's going that going way. That way. This is just... It's going. It's going that way. Yeah. 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 So the water from Laurel Falls is going back underneath the rocks too, and coming out somewhere else. This is crazy. This is wild being down in here. But, I mean, tons of this limestone is all fresh fallen. I mean, it, it could have fallen yesterday. That's how fresh it looks. 
So we're not going to stay down here very much longer. It's plum scary. Well, we're here uh, setting up our camp at Laurel Falls. Steve, the great bushwhacker, has started a small fire. And David is uh, rigging a way to hang his tarp. That's what he's sleeping under tonight. And I've got a small bivy tent that I don't have up yet, but I'll be putting it up soon. Once I know the fire is going good and we can keep it going by feeding it a little bit. And uh, we will eventually pull out our Ziploc bags with our dinner in it and have some dinner. Man, it's beautiful down here. The, the temperature is great. A beautiful fall day. There's a picture of the falls again. Just look up at those trees. There is nothing like camping in the fall or late fall into winter. I know camping in the summer seems to be the most popular, but the cool temperatures and the beautiful color is just hard to beat. And when you're camping with a, an experienced bushwhacker like my brother, you just never know what's going to happen. <laughs> And this is how you enjoy a nice camping out next to Laurel Falls. And thanks to daylight savings time, it's only about 5 o'clock and it's pitch black. <laughs> Well, this is part of the trail heading down to Virgin Falls. And from what I've read, this is the easy part of the trail. Because it predominantly goes downhill, up and down a little bit. But this is a very rugged trail. So, uh, be, be aware. Well, we've made it to the uh, Virgin Falls. And we've got a crossroads here where a sign tells us we can take this trail and go on up to the head of the falls. And we can take this trail and go on down to the base of the falls. And we're going to do one or the other or both. We're not sure yet. But I'm going to swing around here and let you see the falls from where I'm at. And as you can see, it's flowing down into another cave. And up at the top, at the head of the falls, it comes out of a cave and runs for, they say, about uh, 40 or 60 feet. And then plunges off the, uh, off the cliff and then down into another cave. So uh, we're here, and uh, I'm going to go down a little closer and check it out. Well, here we are uh, on an overlook. It's about halfway down the falls. And you can see the top up there, the flow is way down compared to what videos I have seen before but it's really beautiful beautiful black limestone everywhere moss and stuff growing all over it and as it comes down into a cave and just disappears I've got a beautiful campsite here It'd be a great place to camp, I would think. But it's an awful long way to take a full pack with sleeping bag, tents, and everything else. It's an awfully rugged trail. That's why we chose not to do it. Because we're wimps. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> There's the biggest <laughs> wimp right there. No, I'm the biggest wimp. He's in twice as good a shape as I am. Not too many people have a brother that's kayaked the full length of the Mississippi River. And that's what he's done. So he puts me to shame when it comes to the outdoors. Well, here it is, Virgin Falls. Beautiful as can be. And I hope you enjoy this video, and I hope uh, you get a chance to come see it in person sometime. There's my nutty brother climbing all the way down. The rocks are very slick, and like I said, he's in a lot better shape than I am. There's no way I would make that climb with these, with my knees and my back. 
and me being so out of shape. But boy, it is gorgeous. And I'm using up the last 3% of my phone battery right here. Absolutely gorgeous. Wish you were here with me. Then you could carry my pack out for me. <laughs> they say the worst part is going to be the climb out of here. The loop going, there's a loop trail that comes down to Virgin Falls, and they suggest that you come the way we came, and then you go out the other way. Because it's so steep, they don't want you going down it. So uh, we're going to be hitting that before long. No telling how that's going to be. There's my knucklehead brother again. He's quite a guy. He's quite the adventurer. Glad he came up. Yeah, let's go. Well, I really hope you enjoyed our trip to Virgin Falls. My brother and I love doing this kind of stuff, especially in the fall and in the winter. And if you've never tried camping during the winter time, I really suggest you give it a try. It's a lot of fun. It might take a little more preparation, but it's really great to be out there in the woods during the winter, be able to huddle around a nice little campfire and uh, enjoy the scenery and see a little wildlife. We love doing it. And I'm really glad that my brother had his flip phone with him and that kind of pulled me out of a rough spot since I was doing all this with my iPhone and my battery ran out way too soon. So that was a lesson learned for me. This is Steve Hardesty wishing you a great time in the outdoors.